Howdy y'all, this is Ranger checking in at Six Flags Over Texas. It's been a while, so hopefully your off season was better than that of the SeaWorld shareholders. But it's going to be a very large season coming up here. It's huge. There's at least four new roller coasters that I'll be covering. The, uh, the two RMC rides at the Cedar Fair Parks. We've also got a Wonder Woman here in San Antonio that we got to cover. Copy of that ride in Northern California as well as Silver Dollar City's Time Traveler. I hope to bring you coverage of all of those rides. But first here, we're here today at Six Flags Over Texas checking out the construction of their new ride here. Looks like it could rain a little bit today, but that's not really gonna be a problem unless you're the legend. What? What? So let's go on in and see what's new. So I'm here in the villain section to answer the question that everybody is no doubt wondering. And that is, what's gonna happen to the ride formerly known as Harley Quinn's Spin Sanity? Of course, because that's what everybody cares about. No one cares if there's a new ride or anything like that. So this ride is gone. This was that little uh, spinning ride. There were like 12 carriages or something like that that all spun around in here. Harley Quinn Spin Sanity. They're using this name for their new ride that we're gonna take a look at in a second. But this ride is gone. I don't know where it is. Did it get moved to a different part of the park? Did it go to Six Flags America? I don't know. By the Joker roller coaster. This is the location where the new Harley Quinn Spin Sanity ride's gonna go in. No doubt that these three uh, food booths are going to have to come out. The entrance is going to have to go right behind it. I can't imagine where else it's going to go. There's really nothing to see. Um, the fence goes all the way around. We'll take a look at it from the other side. Over here at the exit of Batman the Ride, not a whole lot we can see of the new construction over here. There's just some large machines. We do get our first sign of the ride structure itself right here. This is no doubt the ring that goes around the outside that's gonna spin. We got another construction fence up here. I don't think this is our missing ride though. Give you an idea where we are, that's pandemonium over here. The uh, Texas Sky Screamers right there and the Gunslingers right over there. This is our wall. This probably is some restaurant or something like that. This might have been released what this is. I'm not really sure. Go ahead and let us know if you know the answer to that. So here at the All-American Cafe, I thought I'd show you something. Six Flags has this habit of trying new things, which is good. Sometimes they work out and sometimes they don't. They always do a good job of fixing their problems, though. So this is kind of the good Six Flags, bad Six Flags routine, as I call it. So last year they had an issue where, well the last few years, they have people with dining passes and so then it makes the lines a lot longer for the food. And so this year they rolled out these kiosks. These are the self-serve kiosks that you can see at McDonald's. You can only use them if you are paying with a credit card. So this isn't going to help you get your food faster if you have a season pass, but for all the guests that are coming in, that uh, are not season pass holders, they're not gonna have to wait quite as long to get their food. Not a whole lot going on at the park today, so we'll go ahead and close out by the rodeo. This is, of course, the most Texas ride at the park. The one major thing that they rolled out recently was the four new tiers of the memberships. I haven't had a chance to digest that and go over all that. There's kind of a lot they just unloaded on everybody all at once, so that almost seemed unfair. Um, other than that, that's about it. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go to Bass Pro Shops to pick up some uh, accessories for Bang Howdy. But I, I tell you, Bang Howdy not really going as well as I had hoped to this point. Turns out uh, shooting your guns while riding a horse is actually a very dangerous thing to do. Who would have thought? But yeah, uh, luckily nobody's been injured though. I, I do have better aim than Dick Cheney, so no one has been hurt. Also, the thing about Bang Howdy is that the horses are not really handling the gunshots very well. You see like the old Wild West movies that the cowboys are riding around shooting their guns. But these horses are just losing their minds when the guns go off, so... I don't know, I gotta find a fix for that. I, I think I'll probably take the horses and drop them off at Kenny's place in Chicago. Then all the gunshots, they'll, they'll get used to the sound of guns going off before I pick them back up. 
So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll have some exciting new videos for you soon with some brand new roller coasters, and I'll see you next time. This is Ranger signing off from Six Flags Over, Texas.